It's a great pleasure, as I mentioned already initially, that we have uh, three speakers here from China. Now, after we heard more the global overview uh, and the vision, um, we have uh, uh, three speakers who will speak from a very practical uh, uh, perspective. And it's a great pleasure to have here Mr. And I'm sorry for not pronouncing the name correctly, Mr. He Xiong from Goldwind, who is in charge of human resource development at Goldwind. And uh, Goldwind, as most of you will know, one of the world's largest, China's largest wind turbine manufacturer, who has always been uh, also um, had a very sp a strong focus on development of human resources. Uh, Mr. He, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Stephen. And, uh... Uh, appreciate the opportunity to join this forum today. Um, it's a great uh, opportunity to learn from different perspectives, especially the previous two uh, speakers on the global scale, the industry-wide uh, observations. And now uh, I'd like to share a little bit about um, what we do uh, at, as a company uh, in terms of talent uh, training and development. Um, so I uh, think, how do I share? Okay. That looks good. If you just now go to the presentation mode, then I think it's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Yes. All right. So I would just jump into, um, so Goldwind um, is a relatively young uh, company in the industry, uh, about 21 years uh, since we incorporated. Uh, so we are very proud of participation in the wind industry, uh, the green energy, um, it, is, it is great. But uh, at the same time, we realize uh, people are at the heart of our uh, industry as well. So, it is great industry, uh, solar, wind, but also it has challenges. It has hardship uh, associated with the industry as well. So our model is uh, creating values and achieving successful lives. So that means we not only focus on providing the best of wind turbines and creating values for our customers, but also the people serving the industry should also get the attention that we can win the industry altogether. So that means we uh, equip people with the necessary uh, skills, uh, pay attention to the safety and wellness uh, to the people uh, involved, and also do the good things to environment and safeguard our uh, uh, communities. Uh, just a little bit about what we think about when talent training, we always starting from the left hand, what is the job required for the people to be successful? What are the standard content method and risk assessment associated with a job analysis, as well as law and the legal legis reg legislation requirement, which are many uh, for good reason. Uh, to help people uh, to uh, uh, stay away from the hurt and the uh, industrial hazard. Uh, from the right hand, we uh, always need to consider how do we un uh, unite, uh, unite the knowledge, skill, and practice so that people can perform the job um, adequately and sufficiently. Uh, also keep improving as environment change to add in new skills and uh, fill in the gaps. So HSE is a huge part in terms of uh, wind industry. So we think about all the stakeholders involved, including the top leadership, what's the role and the responsibility uh, for top leaders, for managers, and also the wind project special requirement and uh, special operations associated with uh, legal legislation requirement, street level safety requirement, and uh, customized situation given each unique situation of the uh, projects. 
this chart shows a general framework when we think about enable people's progress when they get into the industry they need have fundamental and which important the say survival work at height uh, low voltage electrician all this kind of requirements this is a must for people to get into the job and then we need to uh, provide uh, systematic uh, technological uh, skills uh, progression you know starting from basic technical skills like uh, elect electricity hydraulic mechanicals and then when we involve we need the project management uh, the uh, more complex uh, technical situation handling and for management uh, how do you enable the team uh, and uh, building stronger uh, execution capability to finish the project in time on budget and deliver the required return for our customers so there's a lot uh, behind each of the module but basically uh, it's continued enabling and uh, uh, improvement for the people to get the job done uh, involving our technology moving to the next le uh, level of height and uh, reducing the cost uh, of the of the projects uh, this is one uh, small case uh, sharing i want to uh, offer to the audience here today uh, especially uh, given the uh, complexity of regulations and a safety environment standard so when we go into the offshore projects uh, we will have to uh, apply the marine time safety agency uh, regulations uh, we in goldwyn we established our training uh, facilities that can simulate the sea survival challenges you know the waves the storm the thunder uh, all these kind of challenges and people should familiarize themselves with um, the necessary skills and the use uh, the equipment that can get away from that uh, hazardous uh, situation. The so first aid, CPR, firefighting, and standard test. So those are necessary. We have four uh, certificates that require for people to get over uh, on a ship, on a boat, to get on the offshore projects. So that is, uh, that is one part. And the next part is uh, emergency management agency requirement in China. So necessary, basically the two uh, certificates. One is work from height. You need to pass to the practice and test uh, to get a certificate on that uh, certificate so, so that you can be allowed to climb on the wind turbine uh, to perform the job. The other requirement, the minimum requirement, is the low voltage uh, electrician certificate. So that is uh, necessary um, uh, to, uh, to, uh, for everyone in the field work. Uh, we also have a requirement, mandatory requirement for management teams um, in charge of the project to pass on the training on safety roles and safety leadership requirement for the people uh, in the uh, in charge of the project uh, the last part is the uh, basic uh, technical training we uh, partner with gwo and we launched the first gwo certified training center in china so basically with this uh, element in place we have all three requirements satisfied for all the people uh, that need to go on the offshore the onshore project so that is what we call msa plus ema plus gwo one-stop training solutions so with this uh, uh, capability in place and facility established we are able to uh, provide the training for to satisfy all of the um, technical safety environment requirement um, 
certification uh, for people get into uh, the industry, not only for ourselves, but, but also for, um, for our project owners and for um, people, for third party service companies participating in, in the industry. So this year, we further uh, enhance our capability. So we uh, had the, the first mobile uh, basic technical training uh, platform. So that is a way we can bring the basic necessary training um, to our um, projects as well as to our customers uh, with mobile capability. So not limited by the geography location of our training center, but also to provide the similar requirement, uh, required training uh, for people in the, in the remote areas or in other locations. So that is uh, one more advancement in this uh, uh, training um, platform capability offering. Uh, we also established simulation trainings. For example, uh, the wind turbines today, are much more advanced than wind turbines 10 years ago. So for people to get the necessary skill to uh, diagnose the problems and uh, have the hand-on experience fixing the problems, doing the maintenance, or we can bring people to these uh, big simulators so that people can practice all kinds of situations to, to get proficient uh, uh, for their job. Uh, this is one uh, we, uh, this is uh, on the left hand, uh, you, you can see there's uh, a lot of, uh, also of course there's Chinese character, but list uh, some of the customized training that we can tailor made for the projects, for the customers, uh, for uh, partners that require um, the, the uh, specialized uh, need, uh, skills training. Uh, Goodwin also devel uh, devote a lot of effort in working with uh, colleges, higher education, um, because we are a uh, forerunner uh, in the industry in China. So we organize our uh, expert uh, to compile uh, a set of uh, books uh, that specialize on offshore wind farm, um, education. Uh, this set of books uh, involves the designing and developing uh, uh, the construction, the maintenance and project management of wind, uh, wind, uh, wind farms, uh, offshore wind farms. Uh, we also have uh, similar um, uh, textbooks uh, for onshore um, training as well. So those uh, textbooks is um, compiled and uh, is offered uh, in a number of uh, universities and colleges in China. We also uh, extend our collaboration. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, customers sometimes uh, they do not have this uh, similar strong uh, skill training uh, platforms uh, as, a, as their own, so they can come to us and uh, uh, cooperate with, with uh, our schedule and then send their people over. Uh, we also um, have uh, uh, joint uh, education programs uh, for communities as that we serve. Right now we have six or seven uh, colleges uh, who is uh, in, interested in establishing uh, uh, wind um, uh, engineering uh, uh, curriculums so that we, we can uh, offer our expertise and uh, also to support their education development as part of Goldwind social responsibility. Um, I think that is uh, basically a very brief um, uh, introduction about uh, what we do uh, as a company uh, when we think about the development of the industry, which is still is developing very fast, but it's still in the in the early stage. 
So we as a company, we uh, put a lot of effort uh, equipping our own employees with the necessary uh, skills and the safety and environment knowledge. Uh, we also uh, would willing to uh, working with our customers and the communities in supporting uh, their development of uh, human capital who is uh, interested uh, in this industry and uh, supporting the industry for health uh, development for the long run. So that is a very brief introduction and uh, um, again, thanks for the opportunity and looking forward uh, to uh, further discussions. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think this is very impressive. I mean, also to see the growth that your company personally has seen. So you had the challenge and we see that you have taken an active role in helping to develop the human resources that uh, your company needs, but also your partners need. Um, so yeah, that was, I think, very important uh, perspective.